guys. You want to add glue to the back of uh, the side, one of the sides of your space bar, the one that's going to be adhered to the base. That way they connect. And we're going to center it. And there it is. I got glue all over there. I feel like this little corner is sticking out right here and I don't like the way it looks I don't think I can cut it but I might be able to tuck it in some with this little pokey tool can I get it to be flush yet there it is so I added glue to the bottom and to the little back that's going to be glued to there. That looks pretty good. Okay, what we're going to do with this funny little piece that we made, we're actually going to glue it to this the back piece that we created to the platform, which is the front of the typewriter, but it is the back of your keyboard key platform. So we're going to add glue on the opposite side of the space bar. We're gonna, not here, but here where it's flush. So we're gonna add glue because we're gonna glue, glue them together. So make sure you use good glue. If you're using tape, I would recommend that you use tape and glue. Okay, that's plenty of glue for me. And I'm just gonna line it up, you guys. I hope y'all can see. And the reason I have it straight up like that is because that way it'll be nice and flush. I want it to be flush. And I hope that I am in frame and that you guys have been able to see what I've been doing. So in a sense, we actually created like a little stage with a backdrop. Make sure it's sitting flush. So if you have a glass or something that you can work on that really or straight surface, that will really help you to get your piece on there straight. And you are going to have a little leftover on the sides. That is perfectly fine. I feel like mine needs to shift a little bit. That is perfectly fine. Here comes the fun, fun part, you guys. Or actually, I think it's fun. But first, let me give you homework. <laughs> You're not going to like this, but... It, you know, it, I hurt, it hurt my fingers by the time it was done. But the results are awesome. So, you're going to have to take... And I'm going to leave the measurements. 16, 17, 18, and 19. That's the number of the pieces. If you're going to the link with the template and I'm going to leave the, the information but you're going to have to cut all these strips so for example this one measures one inch by nine and you need to cut ten of them and then the next one grad uh, doesn't graduate it decreases by a quarter of an inch so the next one is going to be uh, three quarter of an inch by nine and you're going to need ten of those the only one that you're only going to need nine of is our the little quarter inch ones so you're going to get all the way down to a quarter of an inch by nine, and you're only going to need nine of those. But I'll leave all that information in the description box. I personally, like I said, I wouldn't print that. I would write it down in a little notepad or something, but I'll put it in the description box. So we're going to add our keys to our typewriter. going to add the keys to our typewriter but I already have mine done and uh, I'm going to share with you really quick how I do that so let's say that this let me find a little strip of paper
really, really quick, guys. So here is a strip. Let's say this is a one by nine inch, which it probably isn't. Uh, for me, the hardest ones to wrap were the one inch because my quilling tool, this tool has an opening. It's got a split down the middle of the little barrel. And what you do is you slide your paper in there and then you start wrapping. But because this is taller, it's kind of hard to get it. But you continue to wrap and it gives you these little cylinders and you want to stay even like I'm not doing a good job here because it's just for to show you what to do uh, how I did that and this is not um, a really good one because uh, you want to use if you can get away with use um, if you have 65 pound weight cardstock is better this is 110 so it's harder to do with the thicker paper I did it with 110 it's doable but it is harder to do it and it is like I said the one inch is harder to do it and you do want to train your paper before you do you know to um, to kind of curl so when you go to curl you might be able to do it with one of these little things yeah look at that this is working guys so if you've got a very skinny or even a toothpick if you don't have a quilling tool that can kind of start out your little barrel and then you just keep going you keep rolling making sure you're straight on the edges usually I hold mine on the sides and with my uh, my thumb and my pointer finger I just kind of keep rolling and that's what I do and this is gonna put a little uh, wear and tear in your fingers fingertips but it's doable so anyway that's how you make the little that's what you're gonna do with all the little strips all what is it all 39 of them something like that so we're going to add the keys to the top and I like I said I already have mine pre-cut and we're going to do the numbers so I'm just going to kind of line mine up there because um, my hubby and Abby always get into my craft room and they make a mess so mine were all lined up but now they're all over the place so I got to line them up and the way you know where they go I'm not really real good with a typewriter you guys so I had to look at the keypad to my computer to know what went where there's the eight seven six okay I just need one more And I need a two. Where's my two? So in the top row, and I'm just going to do these. I'm not going to do all of them because I, if I did all of them, uh, it would take up too much time on the video. But I'm going to do my first row. And all I did was um, I picked up these numbers. And these are alpha stickers from Hobby Lobby, and they're called, it's called the bubble bubble stickers, and and they're like little key keys to computers, guys, or or typewriters, and they were two ninety nine. I think these were on sale last week when I went when I picked mine up, uh, but they they have them where all the stickers are, all the alphabet stickers, and they come half of them have the white backing on them with the black letters, and then the other half is the black background with the white letters so these are the and they measure they're about a quarter of an inch in diameter and that's what you need the little ones you don't want big ones uh and but these are the perfect size so the recipient of this wanted hers to be mostly white but i felt they were really stark white so i used this artsy wax to kind of give it like a little shimmer or maybe the sun was reflecting on the snow because this paper I think it's a winter paper so I, I added some of that just kind of to tone down that starkness but I didn't want to add brown I wanted it to be mostly white so I added that and what we're going to do uh, oh and then I added a little bit these are adhesive but I did add more glue so they wouldn't fall off a little dab of glue and put my numbers and my letters wherever they went like I let me show you what they all look like. But these are all those strips. See all the different sizes? 
these are all those little strips that we have to coil up like little barrels for the keys and i believe that that is all the information i can give you right now and i'm going to move these out of the way i'm not actually going to do them right now um by the time you get done there shouldn't be any space left on your keyboard the quarter of an inch is going to be right up to the edge here uh, the little quarter of an inch barrels and you are going to have some that uh, have that don't have anything and you're going to have to put something so i put a question mark on one the exclamation point on the other and the and sign on one of them just to kind of fill in those last three little barrels and i kind of just went by my computer for the orientation and then after you get all that done we're going to glue it here we're going to slide the platform in it should fit perfectly and you do want it to be a little snug but that's going to go here and you can see our typewriter coming together that's going to go here and our keys are going to be right up there i will post a, a picture of it on my instagram when i'm done but that's what that is right there now the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a little piece of uh, roll that whether it's, um, I'm not going to say a paper towel roll because I don't think they're very skinny. This might have come from vinyl or something because it's a thicker roll than the paper towel roll. It's, you know, it's the chip, the paper is thicker. And I cut mine to the, the width that's in between my typewriter and mine was six and a quarter. And I'm going to cover this with designer paper. And hopefully this uh, glue will work for me. Actually, I'll just use the other because I know the other one's going to come out. This is the cover of the uh, Stamperia paper. Like, I used it all. So I just cut an inch. And the way you can, uh, when you want to cut your roll, it's kind of hard to cut something uh, round, uh, straight. Cut your piece of paper first and use that as a template and um to mark all the way around your paper see wherever your paper stops that can be your template then you would get a pencil and mark all the way around so that you can have a straight edge i didn't do that but after i had done mine i thought why didn't i just use my paper and then i could have cut it so i'm adding this paper to the roll Make sure you have plenty of glue. And you can use score tape too if you want, but I would definitely at the ends use some type of glue. Because glue, to me, glue is stronger than paper. And I'm just going to line it up with the end. Line it up at the end. And I'm going to wrap it. And by setting it down kind of straightens my paper if I'm getting off kind of losing my way but when I set it down it kind of adjusts and because I'm using this wet glue it will um, it will ship for me if I need it okay well there it is make sure it's nice and adhered nice and snug come on nice and tight Make sure it's nice and tight. You don't want to have any um, you don't want to have any um, bubbles. Mine looks like it kind of got off a little bit right here, but not too bad. Just a little bit. I'll go in and trim with my scissors and it's all good. So here is the little piece, which is that front piece of your typewriter. We're almost there, guys. And this piece goes in here. Now, if you have a platform on the bottom, then yours would be glued to the bottom and to the sides. I'm not going to put on mine right now, just temporary, so you can see it because um, I'm going to glue mine to the, the platform or the drawer that I created. 
So here's what our typewriter should be looking like. Like this should be flush with the front of your typewriter. It can be in a little bit, just as long as the roll is not sticking out. But if you follow the dimensions that she gives on her template, you shouldn't have any trouble. And that's why I said we couldn't make this box any wider because then the roll here, by the time we added this piece, would be sticking out too far and you want it to stay behind the these uh, legs right here or the sides. But that's what it's looking like so far, you guys. I hope that you are following along with me. I will go back to the video one and add some more information that was missing there. And then I will add the information in this. When you go on there and it's not on there, just be patient. I will put it on there. But, you know, I do have other things I got to take care of. But I will go in there and add the information. Or you can go to the patterns. And uh, because I, uh, I already shared with you the ones that you need. And you can get the information from there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone's having a great day. And I hope that you're understanding uh, what I'm trying to show you here or how to put it together. If you have any questions, let me know. And if I can help you, if I can answer and make it easier, I will. Sometimes I, you know, I try my best to explain, but, you know, sometimes I might understand it a certain way. You guys understand it another way. My dad used to say every head is a different world, so... You know, I can understand. I didn't understand it then, but I understand it now. Anyway, this is what we're looking like so far, guys. I hope that you share your typewriters with me. If you create them, uh, let me know. So, I, And if you do a video so I can watch it, thank you so much for crafting with me. I hope everyone is staying safe. And everyone have a great day. And God bless. Bye.